Well, I think we have a really special conference because we've got people coming in from, from not only from Wisconsin, but also from California and, uh, and, and the East Coast. And it's uh, an effort to talk about these uh, recommendations made by the President's Task Force on 21st Century Policing uh, about two years ago. Uh, they made a number of recommendations for American policing, and uh, we and other conferences around the country are trying to help people understand them and to um, implement them. And what's different about this conference is that it involves police and community leaders, not just a, a separate conference for police to talk about these or for citizens to maybe complain about police not doing this, but starting uh, a level playing field where police and citizens can have a dialogue about what needs to be done to improve policing in our country. One of the, one of the things has to do with uh, you know, the police use of force. We've all seen the videos and we all know that around 900 to 1,000 people are killed by police every year, and we really don't have any past data on that. So, but we've all seen the videos, and we all think it's a problem because we see videos that we kind of step back from and say, did they have to do that? So whether or not this has been going on for years or not, I think there's probably been just as many shootings in the past, but this is now has come to national attention because of these things called uh, cell phones that have video capability. And now Americans are looking at this and they're saying, you know, is this what, how police should be using, using force? Could, could they have done something else? Uh, especially in dealing with mentally ill people who have maybe, maybe knives or clubs. And I'm not talking about confronting police with firearms because if you do that, you'll probably get shot. But what about, what about knives and clubs and maybe picking up a chair? Is that instrumentality which will result in people dying? And many of those people are mentally ill. So it's, it's been, you know, we, we need a national conversation about this and, and this is the second year we've done this and I think we're, we're contributing to that conversation.